Alrighty then. So today we're going to learn how to use Excel. We're going to learn like some absolute basic um, formulas just to get us started. And so first off, I'm going to make this pretty. So M, here we go, making it nice and pretty. And we're going to merge and center these. So there we go. And I want to write in this um, All right, let's make it bigger. There we go. And then I'm gonna add these cells right here, merge, and I want it to say their funny thing. I'm gonna push enter. All right, and I wanna make these colorful just because I, I like things to be pretty. There we go. Sweet. So there is my um, my title of this. I also want to add the border to it, but I'm going to do it differently than I did last time. I'm going to do this and I'm going to draw it on. There we go. Sweet. So now it looks really pretty and I just went to the borders and filled it in there like we talked about before. Okay. And I don't want to draw borders anymore. There we go. And so now I'm going to put in the information that we are using. And we are going to talk about the sales of this company. And so we want it for, and again, I'm going to put a border. I don't want to draw it. Make it where I want it. All borders. Sweet. And I'm going to do all borders here as well. If I want, I can change the borders colors and go to line color. And let's make this, let's make them green. All right, so I can make them green. I don't really like it that much. So I'm gonna go here. That's more just a, just an FYI. All right, let's, I'm coloring these because like I said, I like things to be pretty and I'm showing y'all how to do this as well. There we go. All right, so let us fill in the information now that it's pretty. So there is all the sales that Goldman Inc. made. All right, so now we are gonna do the real stuff. I'm gonna merge these and I want this to come over here. We're gonna learn how to do the total sales. So we're gonna learn how to do averages. Okay, I'm gonna format this the way I want it. Our next thing that we're going to have is highest monthly sale, merging these, lowest monthly sales. Then I'm gonna do all of these. I'm gonna write it up here because you can also write things up here. All right, so here we go. This is the meat and potatoes of what we are doing today. So we're gonna find the total sales of this. And how we do that is you have to write an equal sign to start a formula. Then you have to put one of those and we're looking for the sum. So when you start writing, it's gonna pop up and then click on it. We wanna find the sum of all of the year. So again, I just pushed shift and all the things came up. And I'm gonna close it and let us see. I'm gonna push enter, found a typo in the formula. Oh, I guess because maybe you didn't need the one at first. Yeah, so yep, if you have a typo, it'll tell you. Average sales per month. How we do this one, we do the equal sign again and we put I just put an A and it popped up. We're gonna find the average. Again, we're gonna click here, I'm gonna shift, get all of that row. I like to close it because that's what my high school computer person, that's what my high school computer teacher taught me to do. And there is the average of the monthly sales. Our next one, highest monthly sales. Again, you push enter. The formula for this one is max, because we're trying to find the highest. Again, click the number, go all the way to December, close it for my high school teacher, enter, and there's the highest with December. The lowest sale, what we're gonna do with that one is we're gonna push enter, and this one's the min. Oh no, it went away. Oh, well, that's fine, it'll work. And again, that one, push shift, 
all the way over. And there we go. That is the easiest. Now this one is a little bit different. We want to find how many months the sales were over 400. We can look at it and see, but the computer will do it for us. And that's the, one of the beauties of Excel. So I'm going to start the way we do all the formulas, push equals. And this one is count if. So if you put count, it's going to count all of these, but we don't want all of those. We just want if certain things happen. So count if. Again, push this, push um, shift, go all the way around. But we want if that is greater than 400. And I mean, it's just like what you learned in elementary school. Um, I think you go over it all the time. But this number is bigger than that number. We're going to close the parentheses. Oh, shoot. I forgot this part. You need a comma, and you need quotation marks over it. And then you have the full formula. Excel is very, you have to do it right. And so there we go. We have the full formula. It's formatted weird, so I'm going to format it like the others. And that is that is that. That is the easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy.